We're going to start by opening up the interpreter. This is where we can run our scripts and write very simple little programs. So because I'm on Windows, to do this, I open up the start menu and type CMD. If you're on Mac or Linux, however, you're going to want to open up something called Terminal instead. Now that that's open, I type IPython. This could take a minute to load depending on your computer and if it's the first time you're opening it. You might be tempted to go to your start menu and type IPython. Don't do this. I don't like this. It'll probably work, but sometimes you might have issues with working directories and whatnot. So don't do that. Open up CMD and open up the interpreter from CMD. There are other interpreters out there too. Chances are you already have one on your computer installed called Python. Now, if you installed it with Anaconda, you will have IPython, but you'll also have Python. It'll work, but it doesn't work quite as nice as the IPython interpreter. So I really recommend the IPython interpreter. So now that we have it opened, I'm going to type print hello world. There we go. We just wrote our first program. We told the computer, print out the statement, hello world. And it did. We can see that it did. We just wrote a program. It's a very simple program, but it's a program. Chances are, however, if you're going to want to write programs that you can use later on, you're going to want to write an actual script that you can run whenever you want. So to do this, open up your favorite, very simple text editor. Mine is Notepad++. There are a lot out there. I know a lot of people like things like Sublime. That's a good one too. I just like Notepad++. If you're on Mac or Linux, I don't think it's available on those platforms though. Things like Microsoft Word will not do the trick. It's got to be a very simple text editor. So I have it open. And in here, I can start to write code. Print. So I just wrote the same line of code we wrote into the interpreter. And I'm going to write another one too. Print. This is my first script. And I'm going to save this to my desktop. And I'm going to call it my first Dot .py. The dot .py means Python. You don't really want to save it as a dot .txt. .py means Python. So it's saved. And look, you can see it appeared on my desktop. Now I can run that program from the interpreter. The problem though, is that the interpreter doesn't know where to find that program. We have to tell it where it is on the computer. I put it on the desktop. The interpreter doesn't know if it's on the desktop or where it would be. So we're going to have to tell it where to find the program. I'm going to make another video, it'll be the next one, about how to navigate the computer through command line. But very simply for now, all you're going to do is say CD desktop. CD for change directory. So now the interpreter knows we're looking at the desktop and I can now write run my first script. Hello world, this is my first script. Hello world, this is my first script. Those are the instructions I wrote in the script when we told it to run from the interpreter. It worked perfectly. So that's that. You just wrote your very first program and your very first script. Good job.